Let's begin at the top of the mat for two sun salutations. Find mountain pose. Line up your second toe with the center of your ankle and the center of your knee. Bring your palms together at your hearts. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, touch down. Inhale, extend the spine halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back, left foot back, top of a push-up, and lower down. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Walking out, bending right knee, left knee, letting the head go. Getting the spine nice and long, pressing into the fingers. Swishing the hips side to side, make it playful. Take the gaze up, rise up on your toes, bend your knees, walk, or lightly hop to the top of the mat. Halfway lift and fold deeply. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, Samastitihi. Inhale, Urdva Hustasan. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, top of a push-up, and lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, over the toes, down dog, taking a nice deep breath. And let it out through the mouth, just releasing any tension here. Pressing the thigh bones back and opening up the hamstrings. Take the gaze forward, walk or lightly hop. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, reach, and back to prayer hands. Find mountain pose once again. Root down through your legs and lift up through your torso. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, open your fingers nice and wide, and imagine that your palms are pressing into a block. Take one more deep breath, exhale, fold down, touch the ground, inhale, extend the spine, exhale, release the neck and head. Inhale, two more times like that. Exhale, fold. Last one, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch the spine and release. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring the palms behind the back, interlace the fingers and stretch the palms away from your bum. Fold forward. Arms will follow. Little micro bend in the elbows. Take the shoulders away from the ears and enjoy. Feel the four corners of your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Stretch the arms for crescent moon. Take the right fingers Take hold of the left wrist and stretch to the right. Ground down into the left leg and the left foot. Inhale, center. Nice, strong core. Switch palms. And then stretch to the left. Press your right hip to the side. Get a nice crescent moon shape. Inhale, back to center. Point your index fingers and then stretch to the right. One more time. As you ground down into the left foot, try to bring the right foot off the ground. Just hover. Take the chin up slightly. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, stretch to the left. Pull the left leg up into the hip socket. 
and then float the left foot off the ground, making the crescent moon shape. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the palms. Take them all the way up and bow down. Inhale, stretch the spine. Exhale, step the right foot all the way back. Hands to your hips. Bring your thighs in towards the midline. Left knee over the left ankle. Take your palms to your hearts and breathe. Inhale, stretch the both arms all the way up. And let's do a crescent moon here to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, palms to the mat. Runner's lunge. Extending and stretching the left leg. Opening the toes. And reaching your heart forward, trying to get the low belly towards the thigh. Step the right foot together with the left. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Step the left foot all the way back, low lunge. Bringing your palms to the hips. And deepen into the lunge. Tuck the back toes under. Root down through the tailbone. Engage the legs. Bring your palms to your heart. Shoulders relaxed. Face relaxed. Inhale, stretch the arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers and point the index fingers. Relax the shoulders back down. Take a crescent moon shape to the right. Feel the grounding through the bottom half of the body and the lifting the top half of the body. Take the right ribs forward a little more. Inhale back to center. Exhale, palms to the ground. Runner's lunge, straightening the right knee. Press the big toe away and the baby toe comes back towards the shin. With the breath, just float the heart closer towards the thigh. And inhale, bend the knee, step the left foot to meet the right. Exhaling, fold, inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, back to prayer. Step the left foot all the way back. Turn the toes in slightly. Line up heel with arch for Trikonasana. Triangle. Float the arms up to shoulder height. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale to the right. Bringing the right palm to the shin, to the thigh. And the left fingers to the left hip. Left shoulder opening, side body long. Contract your front and back leg quads. This extends your knees and stretches the lower hamstrings. You can bring your left palm behind your back if you wish, looking for the kidneys. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise up. Parallel the feet and then take the left toes out. Exhale. Side B, taking the right fingers to the right hip. Activate the length of your spine. Use your obliques to turn your torso upward. And then take the right fingers, look for the kidneys, and breathe into your right palm. Chin, center chest. And then exhale, look down, inhale, 
Rise up. Let's do triangle one more time. Taking the right toes to 90, turn the back toes in again. Breathe. And come all the way down. This time, stretching your arms in either direction and use your rhomboids to retract your scapula. Draw those scapula towards your midline to open up the chest. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise up, switch the feet. Left toes to the top of the mat, right toes pointing in. Reach. And just gently finding where it's comfortable for your palm. And take your shoulders away from your neck. Use your tri-steps to extend your elbows and straighten your arms a little more. You can take the gaze up if you wish, or keep it to the side wall. Exhale. Inhale. Come up. Turn the top toes to face the top of the mat. Bend the back knee and step back to mountain pose. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Let it go. Take the feet wide, stepping the left foot back. Parallel the feet. And then reach the arms all the way up. Exhale for wide-legged forward fold. Interlace the palms behind the back. And fold here. The crown of the head reaches towards the mat. Ankles nice and strong. Lifting up on the inner arches. Strengthen through the kneecaps, the quads once again. And a micro bend to the elbows. Inhale, come up. Heart lifts. Release the palms. Inhale, arms stretch up. Exhale, bringing the palms to the mat. Line up all ten fingers with your toes. Make the shape of chaturanga arms. So paralleling the elbows, bend them nice and deep. Keep stretching the crown of your head towards the mat. Open the fingers nice and wide. And on your next in breath, come up. Exhale, palms to hips. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bow forward, keeping the palms on the hips and stretching the elbows back. If you wish, taking hold of the toes with your first with your with your first two fingers. And use that as leverage to bend the elbows and deepen into the stretch. Exhale, palms to hips. Inhale, come up. Turn the top toes to face the top of the mat. Bend the back knee and step the feet together, mountain pose. Clasp your hands behind the back once again. Reverse the finger lacing this time and take the palms away from the back. Keep opening the shoulders, the heart lifts. Shake it all out. Take your feet hip distance apart and bring the palms parallel in front of you. Rise up on your tippy toes with the inhale. And then imagine yourself sliding down the back of the wall. Come into a squat just to challenge our balance. Inhale, lift up, tippy toes. Find your gaze, your focal point. Exhale, slide it down. 
strengthening the ankles. Inhale, come up. Take the shoulders back. Whoa. And if you fall, just come back up onto the tippy toes. And let's do it one more time. Sliding down. Use your core, your abdominals, to help you all the way back up. Lift the arms. And release that. Take the feet a little wider than hip distance. You can use a block for your seat if you wish. Let's come into a full squat. Bringing the upper arms to the inside of the knees and the thighs. And then take the fingertips to the ground, lift the hips. Exhale, let's fold back down into the squat. Palms together at your heart. Fingertips to the ground, lift the hips, forward fold. Come back into squat. Pressing the upper arms into the inner knees and the knees into the upper arms, creating your yoga connection. Fingertips to the ground, stretch the hips up. One more bow and then come all the way up. Coming back down, find yourself in mountain pose, just feeling the prana, the energy, the blood flow, the calm. Namaste.